So you have your kneecap on the front of the, the femur. It's supposed to sit in this groove. And when you bend and straighten your knee, that kneecap should track straight up and down in that groove. But what happens most of the time in most of us is at the time that you're bending and straightening your knee, your kneecap is actually shifting side to side at the same time. And what will start to happen is that kneecap will start to rub up onto this ridge here. The back of the kneecap is a very soft bone. It'll start to rub up onto that ridge and that pressure will create a lot of irritation in the knee. At the same time that you're bending and straightening, let's say as you're stepping off of a curb and you're, and you're stepping down, there's the potential for some forward slippage of the tibia, the bone in the lower leg, to slip forward. And what that'll do is that puts a lot of stress and strain on your ACL and your PCL, two ligaments that are designed to prevent forward and backward slippage. And as you are going to a standing position, let's say from sitting, or as you're going up and down stairs, or as you're walking, as you bring that leg all the way out into straight, there's a degree of rotation that occurs in that lower leg bone. And so that rotation puts stress and torque onto the MCL or your LCL here on the outside as you get too much rotation. And then finally, if we were looking at your meniscus, this is the meniscus, the cushion that sits in between the, the two bones. As again, as you're bending and straightening that knee, let's say going up and down stairs, there's a slight degree of rotation that's occurring in the lower leg. And as you can see, the meniscus should be sliding with it, but when the meniscus gets caught, then it'll get pinched in between the two bones, kind of like pinching your finger in a door. And so that pinch will start to create a tear in the meniscus. We see this very commonly with athletes or with people that have to, to be on their feet a lot during the day. This meniscus doesn't glide and slide the way that it's supposed to. It actually gets stuck and the femur continues to push forward and pinches or impinges on that meniscus and that's what will start to create irritation and pain as well as tears that progress and get worse. All of those ligament problems, meniscus problems, and patellofemoral problems are all things that if we get you evaluated, we can figure out exactly what's causing your problem and know what we need to do in order to get you started on a plan of care that'll take care of it. So give us a call. Let's get, let's get you in. Let's figure out what's going on with your knee and we'll help you get it healing and, and back to doing all the things you want to do.